are finishing off our little mini series on simple to make cotton flowers with these. These are very simple, five petaled, pretty little flowers with centers that are a different color. Um, you can make them all one color if you want, or you can make them two-toned like I did. These are great for appliques, they're great for scrapbooks, they're great for just about anything that you need a cute little flower for. So these are the mini projects that you put on bigger projects. But without further ado, let's grab our cotton yarn, grab our hooks, and head over to the craft table, and we will make some cute little five-petaled flowers. <laughs> In order to make this simple five petaled flat flower applique, we need very small amounts of cotton crochet thread. I'm using a four ply worsted weight cotton crafter yarn, just small amounts of both. I've got some yellow for the center and I've got some nice uh, pink for the petals. I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook or a G6. This is the smallest hook you'd probably want to use with this project. Um, you can go bigger if you like, four and a half millimeter or even a five millimeter hook um, because cotton is a little bit uh, more sticky uh, to deal with. It doesn't flow as smoothly as acrylic, so you don't want to use a small hook because you might find it a little troublesome. You're going to want a pair of scissors and a decent yarn needle so that you can weave in all your ends. Once you've got all those things, let's get started. All right, in order to just begin, we're going to start with the center of our flower and we're going to begin with a slip, uh, sorry, a cinch circle. <laughs> and if you have trouble with a cinch circle, I do have a tutorial on that. I'll post that in the description box below. But you want to make a loop with your yarn. I like to pass my hook from front to back through the loop, grab that working yarn, pull up a loop on my hook, and then chain one, and that secures my cinch circle. You want to make it big enough because we're going to work 10 single crochets into this cinch circle. So once you have your cinch circle made, you're going to pass your hook through the circle, grab your yarn, pull up a loop so that you've got two loops on your hook, wrap your yarn again, and pull through both loops. That's a single crochet. And if you have trouble with that, I also have a tutorial that'll help you put single crochets into a cinch circle. So you want to go ahead and put 10 single crochets into your cinch circle. Five, 10. Once you've got your 10 single crochets into your cinch circle, that's a lot of sis sis sis, <laughs> grab your short tail, pull it tightly, and cinch your circle shut. Then you're going to want to join with a slip stitch. So you're going to take your hook, pass it through the first single crochet you made, and it's going to be a little tight, so don't worry about it. S stick it in there as best you can. Make sure you grab your working yarn and not your short tail, and slip stitch to close off that row. That's all we're going to do for the center. So now you can take your scissors, snip your working yarn, pull that same thread through your loop, and tug, tug it nice and tightly. Then, if you want to be neat and tidy as you go, you can weave in all of your ends with your yarn needle. Pick up a few stitches, thread up your tail, and pull it through some of the stitches on the back of your flower center. Once we've got our center for our new flower, it's time to join our petals. So we're going to grab our petal color, and for me that's going to be pink again. We're going to join with a slip stitch, which means we need a slip knot to start. So I like to make a loop, pass my hook from front to back, grab the long working yarn, pull up a loop on my hook, and then take both tails and tug them. There we go. One slip knot going to join my work. Well, this looks like a good stitch. So I slip stitch to join. And to start our first petal, we're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to double crochet into that first same stitch. In fact, 
everything we do for this petal is going to be into that same stitch. Double crochet a second time. And to finish off this petal, we're going to chain two and slip stitch back into the same stitch. We're going to put a spacer in between each, in between each petal. So into the next stitch along our center, we're going to single crochet. Then the whole pattern starts all over again with a slip stitch into the next stitch. Remember you're working with cotton and cotton might be a bit eh, grabby. So just take your time and be patient. The petal begins with two chains followed by two double crochet into the same stitch. Followed by two more chains and then a slip stitch into that same stitch. These stitches are going to get a real workout. Ah, there we go. We need a spacer in between our petals, so we single crochet into the next stitch along the center of our flower. And then we start all over again. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain two, two double crochets. Chain two, slip stitch into that same stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch along the center of your flower. And that is the pattern for making these petals and petal spacers for this cute flat five petaled flower. So you can go ahead and finish the rest of your petals and I will see you right at the tail end. Once you've finished with your last single crochet or your last sort of spacer between petals, you can slip stitch if you like into the first um, petal space or if you feel it's close enough you can just fasten off, pull it tightly remember, and you can take your tail and weave it through the backs of your petals, so just like that, and that will help join your row together in just in case there might have been a little bit of a gap there. But there you go. Now you just want to weave in all of your little tails, and that is a very simple flat applique flower. <laughs> and that is a five petaled cotton flower. These are great if you need to use up your scraps, especially if you've been doing other cotton projects like face cloths or soap savers or any other nifty little things that you can make with cotton around your house. That's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, if you check out our website, we've got other free patterns for uh, available for download in PDF format on the workshop page. And I will link our website in the description box down below. Thank you so much, and we will see you again really soon. Bye.